What's up you guys, Rex here. In today's video, I'll be breaking down all of the costs associated with applying to medical school. I'll give a very average example and give a not unrealistic high-end example of what some people pay to apply to medical school. So to make this video, I have to make quite a few assumptions, and most of them come from the matriculating student questionnaire from 2020 that the AMC puts out. So this is real data that supports these assumptions. So first, I'll assume that the average student applies to 17 schools and gets three interviews. That is supported as the median number of schools people apply to and about the median number of interviews that people attend. So first off, there are upfront unavoidable fees you have to pay to apply to medical school. You have to pay $170 to submit your primary application plus an additional $41 per school. So at 17 schools, that brings you to a total of $826 upfront. Then on top of that, you have secondary fees for when you actually submit your secondary application. This ranges from anywhere from about $60 to $130. A happy medium is $100 per school. So that brings you to another $1,700 to submit all of your secondary applications. Then you have your different fees to actually take tests. And so you have to pay for the MCAT, which costs $320. Additionally, the CASPER exam is becoming more and more popular. As of right now, 44 out of the 155 MD schools require you to take the CASPER exam. So if you use that proportion with 17 schools and a cost of $12 plus $12 to send it to each additional school, that comes to an about average cost of $69.91. And some just additional fees, you have to actually send your transcript to the AMCAS application service, and eventually you'll have to send your official transcript to the school you decide to matriculate to, Average cost for that is like $10 per school, so that's another $20. So that brings our subtotal of unavoidable fees for an average applicant to $2,935.91. So now you have your three interviews to attend and you have to actually spend money to travel to those interviews in a normal year. Obviously this past year, all interviews were done via Zoom as far as I know, but in future years, I'm sure they will return to in-person interviews and this is something you have to budget for because it gets very expensive very quickly. So I assumed a travel cost of $300 per school. That is about the average cost of a two-way plane trip in the United States. And so that's a total of $900 for our three interviews on average. And then you have to stay in a hotel and feed yourself for that time while you are interviewing. And so that's about $150 per day. And so that brings us to $450 there. And then in normal years, people usually attend a second look weekend for at least one school. And so that's another $300 for travel plus $150 for the night. So I'm adding on another $450 for a second look weekend. Now our subtotal for travel fees for an average applicant is about $1,800. Now additionally, there are a lot of optional costs that you can argue are they optional or not that people usually pay to apply to medical school. The first is purchasing the MSAR, which is $28. It's not required, I highly recommend it. I didn't purchase it myself, but I would say the typical average student applying to medical school pays the $28 for the MSAR. And then it's really hard to avoid buying some sort of MCAT prep book or something. And so I was probably pretty conservative in saying about $200 budgeted for that. And then 49% of applicants actually take some sort of MCAT prep course. And so I just put in for our average applicant about $300 for like a really short course or some resources or something like that. Obviously it can get much more expensive than that. And typically I would recommend people applying take some sort of practice exams. And so you can buy two of them from the AMC for $35 each. So I budgeted $70 in additional fees for just buying practice exams for the MCAT. And then you have to actually wear some sort of nice clothing to your interview and clothing costs money. And so I budgeted $200 for interview attire. And I was debating if I would throw in extra money for application counseling for our average case, I decided not to. So our subtotal of optional money that you don't have to spend for an average applicant they probably do spend is $798. That brings our grand total that just an average applicant spends for applying to medical school to $5,533.91. So now on the high end of what some people actually pay for applying to medical school, there are 26% of applicants that apply to greater than 25 schools. I personally know people that applied to like 50 or 60. And so for this, I'm saying it's not unrealistic for some people to apply to 40 medical schools and get like eight interviews. So now our primary application, $170 plus 41 per school, comes to a total of $1,769. And then our secondary fees, $100 times 40 schools is $4,000. MCAT 
still costs 320. Casper at $12 plus $12 per additional school and making an assumption about how many schools you actually have to send your Casper exam to brings us to another $148.26. We still just have to send our transcript twice, so that's $20 there, bringing the subtotal of unavoidable expenses on the high end of $6,257.26. So now we're assuming you might attend eight interviews if you apply to 40 schools at $300 per trip. That brings us to $2,400 in travel expenses. Then another $1,200 for hotel and food at $150 per interview day. And then someone might attend like three second looks. That's reasonable and supported by the data, which would add on additional hotel and travel and food costs to total another $1,350. Bringing our subtotal of travel expenses for this not unrealistic case of $4,950. And so now here in the optional costs is when things really start to shoot to the moon. So we're still spending $28 for the MSAR, still spending about $200 for a prep book. But now for an MCAT prep course, we are gonna get the top of the line that Princeton Review offers, which costs $6,699. And we're also gonna buy four full length exams from the AAMC, costing $140 at $35 each. We're gonna buy a little bit fancier clothes and spend $500 on interview attire. And then we are gonna pay for the top end application counseling package from Med School Coach, which costs $9,000. Bringing our subtotal of optional things that we are gonna to choose to spend, because I guess we got the money, to $16,567. And that brings our grand total, which some people actually spend when applying to medical school, to $27,774.26. So if you have a friend that's applying to medical school, please buy them dinner. If you're thinking about applying to medical school, know that unfortunately this is going to be part of the process that you will have to spend an unfortunate amount of money in applying to medical school. And I'm gonna make a follow-up video to this talking about how I think this is so problematic in putting a huge barrier to some people to applying to medical school. Only 23% of matriculants reported that their family's income for the past year was less than $75,000, which is greater than the median household income in the United States. And 49.3% of matriculants reported that their family made $150,000 or more in the year before applying to medical school. So obviously these ridiculous costs skew the distribution of who are the people that actually end up matriculating to medical school, but that is a rant for another time. So if you wanna catch that video when it comes out, make sure you subscribe, hit the notification bell. If you're applying to medical school, check out the playlist on the right where I have all of my videos with advice for applying to medical school. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns, leave them down below. I'll read and respond to every single comment. As always, like the video if you like the video, dislike the video if you dislike the video, and until next time, don't be ordinary, Go be great.